we started to roam this beautiful country, opening our eyes to what we have been oblivious to see. We now track our own land before we do other places. Today, we see Filipinos enjoying the sun-kissed riches of the mountains, the divine gems of the sea, the intricate designs of the rivers and volcanoes. Even the forests have its own treasures that are a feast to the eyes. Ecotourism in the Philippines has been here for more than a decade now and its footprints have created a big mark in the lives of countless Filipinos and foreign tourists as well. The partnership of the Department of Tourism and the Department of Environment and Natural Resources through the National Ecotourism Strategy or NES has joined them in transforming the tourism industry in the recent decade. Now, tourists not only enjoy the beauty and bounty of the Philippines, but they also learn more about conserving and protecting these natural treasures that they enjoy. Their efforts have also brought income-generating activities for the indigenous peoples and women's groups, expansion of employment opportunities to the host communities, and improvements in sustainable resource management. Creating a mindset among people that ecotourism bears a new sense of responsibility and stewardship, not just to enjoy the wonders of nature, but to make sure that they are protected and conserved. Consistent with the internationally accepted ecotourism principles of sustainable resource management, local community empowerment, visitor satisfaction and environmental education and conservation awareness, the NES 2013 to 2022 provides a roadmap to achieve the Philippines' goal to gain a bigger slice of the global ecotourism market. And as the ecotourism promises to soar to even greater heights in the next 10 years, so will the partnership between the DOT and the DENR be strengthened even more. With each new challenge comes new promises that will surely make ecotourism more exciting and truly more fun in the Philippines. <laughs> 